So I want to talk about a comedy anime from the late 2000s. My Bride is a Mermaid. Now this anime is hilarious and it does some of the funniest out of pocket stuff but the whole premise of how this anime even gets started with the story is hilarious. So basically this anime follows this guy named Seto who's a middle school student he's finally on summer vacation because one he had remedial classes because you know his grades were bad so now he's with his family they're going to visit his grandma that lives like in this beach type of side town and when he gets there you know his parents are all talking shit about him and they eventually they go to the beach and like they basically peer pressure him to go swimming so he's swimming and then like he ends up like going way too deep he ends up drowning but as he's drowning a mermaid saves him but because he saw the mermaid's true form now he basically has to die or the mermaid has to die so like it's either one of those and his third option that that happens is he has to either marry the mermaid and also the mermaid's family are yakuza and they're mermaid yakuza and yeah and that's why i say like it's hilarious that he just starts this way it's just like yeah you saw the mermaid so it's like yeah you have to die or you have to marry or marry our daughter to stay alive and like the funny thing is the daughter is the one that basically even comes up with this idea because the main guy his name is um seto and the girl her name is sun and just know son's dad does not want none of this at all because it's an overprotective dad and one he's running yakuza he does not want this at all they want to take they want to take seto out but then like the marriage things happens because Son's mom is like the coolest mom ever and she's just like down and about it. She's like, yeah, here, you can do this. But yeah, this anime is hilarious. It has so many funny moments. The one thing in this anime that has me rolling the most is there's a guy that's part of the Yakuza that we see a lot. He has like an afro, wears glasses. Just know, Seto's mom is willing to risk it all. And I mean, she's willing to risk it all at any time she sees this man. She's like heart struck and in love with this man. And she has a husband. And the funny thing is, Seto falls in love with him too on some funny stuff. They always have like this one little face when he shows just because it's a very attractive person to them. So they make one type of face, but the mom really is trying to risk it all because the mom wants him badly. And it gets so bad that in the anime, eventually the dad, he realizes that the mom doesn't really even care about him no more. And this man will sit like on the bench all super sad and there's even like a thing when the one guy he's at a bar because he does this bar that happens like at the end of the episode sometimes and the one dad comes in there and he's like dog why do you want my life my wife and he's like dog i do not want your wife at all and it's just kind of funny and another funny thing that this anime does is so you know the whole meme when somebody gets taken in by the cops and like they're and they have the investigators there interrogating them and like how they give them food and next thing you know they get the snitch and all that literally this anime has that scene Fried pork with rice. You'd better eat it while it's still hot, don't you think? It looks so good, but I have to be strong. Oh, why do I feel such a burning need to eat this? Just fess up, Nagasumi. You'll feel much better. Oh, the truth is pretty simple. Son and I are living together now. Because it happens with Seto and one of his childhood best friends. And, like, she basically interrogates him because of, like, why him and Son left the same house. And just know that scene pl pans out just like the way whenever you see, like, people snitch when they get food. Is because This I'm interested in. Please tell me one good reason a couple of junior high school kids are sleeping together under the same roof. Hmm, I don't know why, but this little act of hers is exciting me. She get, offers him some food, and this man is just like, oh, yeah, because we live together. And it was just hilarious. Like, it's one of them scenes that you could just, like, connect with that. That was just kind of funny. And it's funny. That came out in 2007. It's like, yeah, this happens everywhere in the world. People snitch when they get food. <laughs> But yeah, this anime, all in all, is, is so damn funny. And it gets even funnier because Sun and Seto, like when Seto goes back to like his hometown, basically um, Sun follows him and they live together in the house. And that's when we find out that her whole family comes to the school and gets jobs there. So like her dad becomes their homeroom teacher. The mom becomes the nurse. The one guy that's attracted with the afro that, you know, Seto and like his mom are in love with quote unquote or the mom really is trying to risk it all he becomes a teacher then you have this shark that becomes a gym teacher and then you end up having like more people that come that are part of their gang that eventually come to this school and other people that are like either some type of like fish merfolk type of people because it's like not everybody's a mermaid in here some people are like sharks some people's killer whales but they can turn into humans and stuff like that so yeah but yeah all in all hilarious anime I love it. From start to finish, it has so many funny moments that I have you rolling. There's so many different unique characters. And as the anime goes on, there's more and more unique characters that get introduced. And they add, they all add their own thing to the story. And they all have, like, really good, like, personalities and characters that have you rolling. And just know, this is 24 episodes. So, yeah. 
it's not that it's not that long of a watch but it still is longer than if you're used to watching maybe like 12 or 13 episodes anime i if you've ever seen um my bride is a mermaid let me know how you feel about it if you haven't seen it maybe you want to check it out it's a hilarious comedy anime from the mid 2000s or the late 2000s i'll say and it's so damn funny because there's so many times that had me rolling and there's so much out of pocket random stuff that happens because some of the stuff is so damn random this is one little girl that's her name's maki i'm not sure exactly like what type of animal she is but she's like she literally has like a um a shell on her so i'm guessing she might have been a crab but they never show her in in her like fish form she's always just a little tiny human with a shell and just no and she'd be on one because she's an assassin and she's always trying to take out the main guy because so basically majority of the people uh, like connect the sun are always trying to take out seto and it's hilarious hilarious because they're always trying to take him out and you have maki who's an assassin the dad doesn't like him the shark doesn't like him there's only like two people that likes him and that's the mom oh yeah the mom is nice there's times the mom be she be momming it up just saying because she be milf she be milf material because at times she'd be like yeah really to risk it all too for seto at times it'd be seeing like that and that's son's mom i should say and she's nice though and there is another girl that's introduced and i forgot exactly what her name is but like she has a samurai sword and like she's there to like basically investigate and see like if they're fit to be in human society because if they're not they're going to get shipped back to the sea and they can never come up and like interact in the human world yeah there's her too that gets introduced and like she has a lot to the story because like she starts to fit in because one she's all around their same age and like the other thing is that's in this anime is all the characters they start to stand certain people so like their son and then there's this girl named Lunar and like they're childhood friends and they and like they kind of have like a little beef it's mainly like one-sided on Lunar's side because Lunar's mad that um son is always beat her in a few things so like they basically start like a whole ass war in their school and, and people are basically choosing sides and like the school becomes like a war zone and just know when this one new girl with the samurai sword gets introduced people are on her side and like just because like she beats everybody else so every all the delinquents and all the people are un, are like under her and like they're over here like worshiping her and calling her like the big boss even though like she doesn't want to be the big boss at all and like it almost like happens that another war was going to happen there but eventually it stops but it's hilarious and there's also an episode when all of them basically like you could say they get drunk on their true feelings because like all their true feelings come out because they all drink this drink that's like a mermaid type of drink and like it allows all your true feelings to come out so people are gonna and like the way they were acting is was like kind of drunk in a way and like all their true feelings were out but it was kind of funny but yeah if you've seen this anime let me know how you feel about it if you've not seen it why not check it out i'm pretty sure you can still watch this on funimation but it might be on crunchyroll now but i'm not sure you know you can hop on a pirate show you can watch it that way too though but just let me know in the comments though but yeah hilarious anime has so many funny ass moments i still think it's hilarious that the family followed him all the way to um to like his actual town and it's hilarious that they all just happen to live there the other thing about this anime that does suck is i say all the kids they're in middle school and it's just like why like why were they in middle school they should have made them high school that would have been a little bit better but i mean hey we do get son's mom that is nice so i'll take that and she's a nurse too so i'll take that so we do get her and she's a new milf to add to the anime waifu list but but yeah, um, this anime was decent. It had me rolling at times, though. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you next video, though. Bye.